is going to be like the equity. So for example, I might I might do something like this, like eh, I want like one hundred thousand for cash. Nothing starting off in in the undeposited funds accounts receivable. Eh, two thousand, let's say, and then inventory four three seven five. Let's say I know that's a weird number, but then I'm going to say sixteen thousand for furniture and fixture, and and the accumulation accumulated depreciation should be negative four thousand or something negative something because it's a contra asset account. The liabilities I'm going to put negative. Notice here I'm representing I'm representing the credits with a negative number and not in a credit column. The reason I'm doing that is because one, I think you'll see that from an Excel standpoint, it's easier to calculate. And two, if I used a debit and credit column instead of this format, I would have six columns instead of only having the three columns that we would need, making making the worksheet way longer than it needs to be also note that i started this on row three i just noticed and I'd, I'd rather put it bring it up to row one so i totally did that on purpose so i can show you how to delete these two rows not really but let's delete these two rows put in my cursor on one drag into two let glow right click on that area right click on it right click on it it's not letting me right click there it goes and then delete so there we have it. So now this, so this is going to be negative, representing a credit. This is I'm going to make this zero, zero draws. I'm going to keep it at zero right now. And then the equity, I'm going to say, let me skip that one, and that'll like be my plug, and I'll go back in and fill those in uh, at a later time. So then we got, then we've got, then the revenue is going to. I'm going to say, let, let's make that negative two hundred thousand. I'm going to say can't cost a good soul that let's make that I'm going to say like it's 80% so I'm going to say negative of that 200 times like 80% because the cost of goods sold markup and so on about 80% then I'm going to say ah 1600 sounds about right and that'll give us my total debits and credits and so I'm going to sum this up and it should add up to zero if the debits were positive and the credits were negative and they were the same. And that's my check figure. That's why it's it's so nice to have the credits as negative so that you can have this nice, easy formula for a check. It's not in balance because my plug is going to be is going to be up here. Now, there's something else that's a little bit different than my practice problem, however, too. And that's the payroll. I'm going to make the payroll eight thousand. And so now I'm going to now I now I'm going to do my thing here. I'm going to say okay, now it's off by 9265. I'm going to plug that into owner's equity. I'm just going to say all right, that's equity. 9 -92065. Now it's in balance, the debits equaling the credits. So so now we got something we can work with. We'll continue creating this in the next presentation.